who in the world starts a career with a bag of clay and a manuscript and has a 60-year career? A little girl never questioned the commands of mother and father, unless prepared to receive painful consequences. Respect and order, these were the key words of life. She felt imprisoned. She was trapped in a mesh of tradition, woven thousands of miles away by ancestors who had had no knowledge that someday one generation of their progeny might be raised in another culture. Fifth Chinese Daughter, 1945. Was she supposed to be uh, the good girl that her parents raised her to be? And yet then what is she supposed to do with her education and her own feelings? Am I of my father's race or am I an American? The conflicts of these two worlds must be resolved. Jade Snow Wong, No Chinese Stranger, 1975. And she was finding her way in her 20s uh, that neither the American side nor the Chinese side was some sort of fixed thing. And neither was the sense of Chinese ad identity some fixed point which she had to get to. It's something that she had to discover and find out how it applied to her. I think it was a process that she had to arrive at slowly and personally, and she did that little by little. She did that by following her own dreams, following her own vision, and then dealing with the difficulties of that. I was disciplined into doing what others expected even when I didn't want to do so. If I could make a career of being a potter, no one would be telling me what to do or when to do it. Jade Snow Wong, A Retrospective, 2002. In her case, I don't think you can separate her search for identity for her search for herself as a creative person. And when she's trying to make a decision about her career in the Santa Cruz Mountains, she's thinking about writing and making pottery and, most importantly, determining what her own future is going to be. I had no money to start a business. I decided to try to find space at an existing retail shop. What better visibility than to work in a window, preferably in a prime location, to attract customers. From the time I stepped into the window, I attracted crowds. I had been ridiculed in my family and by the community when my occupation deviated from the traditional. With perpetually muddy hands, I'd forsaken the 2,500-year-old Confucian ideal of the scholar who studied to avoid getting his hands dirty. Jade Snow Wong, A Retrospective, 2002. I think she had to see the parts of her that were Chinese and the parts of Chinese culture that continued to function and the parts of Chinese culture that stood the test of being in the United States. Questions of integrity and ethics and honesty, those matter. And I think she had to go out and find out how they mattered. And that's how I think she developed her identity. The book I wrote not only emphasizes differences, I tried to say that the greatest values are the same in both worlds. Honor, courage, honesty, uncompromised in the face of personal conviction, service to fellow men, these are no different in the old world or the new world. No Chinese Stranger, 1975. So I think it's natural for her to have grown up in that transition between the Chinese part and the American part, and that this is a living um, process that she had to go through and find how she could be an individual, how she could be a Chinese woman, how she could be a successful artist, how she could be a businesswoman, a wife, a mother, and a civic leader as well. I was the first American of Chinese descent to be sent on the State Department program. It would be good for the image of the United States and inspiring to Asians searching for identities in the post-war era. I could not refuse to contribute toward East-West understanding. Each Chinese American like me has the opportunity to assess their talents, 
to find their individual stature and choose their personal balance of old and new, Chinese and Western ways, hopefully including the best of both. Pottery making, firing enamels, writing books, travel counseling, all appear to be disparate career fields. Yet throughout these endeavors runs my philosophical obsession to create an understanding of Chinese traditions among Americans. Despite the obstacles I've had to overcome, this journey has only been possible because I was born in America. Jade Snow Wong.